Welcome to Epic Elite Prison of Plains. I'm now level 26. You could do this up to level 28 and still get maximum bravery bonus for it. Alright. On the enhancement side, nothing has changed. So far, you know, moving in through mid epic levels, I'm not really happy about the DPS that I'm doing with the stricken and consume and stuff. Um, you know, like, I'm still going to go all the way to 30, but I just thought it would be doing a little bit more damage at this point. We'll see how it plays out from here to 30. Uh, on the Epic Destiny side of things, uh, I think the only difference is I picked up a Radiant Power. Since I have damage reduction now through the Ghost Waking Cloak, I no longer needed it a source of damage reduction from oops, from Fey form in Shirati. I think it was DR7. So I just, just decided to go with the uh, 30 light spell power, and that affects alignment damage as well, so like chaotic damage, for example, which is what I'm doing with Stricken and Consume. I think they're both chaotic damage. Let's see, Stricken is, yep, chaotic, and Consume is chaotic. Okay, with the gear had some changes. Let's see. Evocation Focus 4 and Cypher Evocation Focus 2. Terror Web Kite and Breastplate, the same as the last video, and Cypher Con 3 on there. Uh, still got the Strength 7, Dodge 7 Bracers. Uh, this is different. This is just random gen. It's just a source of constitution. It has Corrosion 15. I wasn't really going for that, but it does help my burning blood. Orcish Privateer Boots now. Uh, this is a awesome, awesome item. Highly recommend for mid-epic levels. For any tune, I mean any tune that can't cast Freedom of Movement ought to have this at least as a situational item, but I love to wear it on, on my tunes that don't cast Freedom of Movement. Uh, so I know some of you for some of you viewers out there, it's you know, you've had trouble farming it, but Unless you're unlucky, it's not a bad farm, you know. You just go out into Epic Three Barrel Cove, and you're just going to farm the rare chests out there. The next item is the Dashing Gloves. This has been the same since level 17. Got the Lantern Ring now. I've got a Diamond to perform 15 in there. I've got the Golem's Heart 2. And, you know, it's got Radiance Lore, Radiance 144, Insightful Wisdom 2, Radiant Glory on Harmful Spellcast, doing additional 6 to 36 light damage. That Radiant Glory is affected by Spell Power. This is an upgraded Lantern Ring, by the way. You do have to upgrade it to get, I think, the Radiant Glory increases, and then maybe, like, the Lore increases by one or two. I don't know. I think there are two little things that that increase still got the mineral 2 plus 45 hit point belt now I've got the epic elite ghost waking cloak and that uh, comes from the crucible empowered dragon scale that's been the same since level 15 or at least actually no I started wearing that at level 17 when I got the dashing gloves as you know blasting chime up until that point comes out of search and rescue Silver Flame Talisman is the same. Pansophic Circlet is the same. Epic Elite Sky Vault Shield. Got a Ruby of Devotion 114. Festive Intelligence. Master's Gift. Master's Gift's redundant because I got one in Pansophic Circlet. <laughs> and let's see. I got a Ruby of Impulse 114 on my Tier 2 Thunderforge. Uh, Sickle. Why sickle? Because it looks cool. No other reason. I'm, I don't care about melee damage. It's just a caster stick. So this has got Sonic 150 on there. So I already got Radiance 144 on the ring, so Sonic was the better option here. You might be thinking, why are you still wearing the gloves then? Well, the glove had a lot more than just your Radiance spell power. You get Sonic Lore, Quality Charisma, Quality Perform, And then I also have 
uh, the tier 2 ability which gives plus 6 equipment bonus to the DC of conjuration spells conjuration is Everett's Black Tentacles okay why did I choose this quest this was one of my earliest videos it's actually one of my oldest videos that's still up and it has like a 48 minute completion time from like over two years ago so I want to take that down because it's not representative of the current state of the game I've mentioned in videos you know over the past several weeks a few months I guess that I want to take I really want to take down some of those older videos because again they're not representative of the current state of the game I mean to put things in perspective you know if you're just sort of you know, well, it was just two years ago well two years ago Mark of Death wasn't even out yet so we didn't have Epic Orchard gear, we didn't have Mark of Death items so you know it's the game has evolved a lot since then. Oh, I don't have a blindness immunity item, damn it. Should have known better than to come in here without that. Here's a solution. Down, down, up, down. The levers up top. I got commanded. I think I need to use my protection from evil wand. quest uh, is among the last generation of quests that had nice unbound items. The, the theme, or what we're seeing anymore, and for a while now, is that all your, even your quest loot, you know, it's, it's bound to account on a choir. But there's some really nice items that come out of uh, Epic Giant Hold, including the Epic Elite Ghost Waking Cloak that I'm wearing. Ring of Shadows, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so I don't have knock and I don't have lock picking skills, so I can't just open that door. I gotta go back and talk to Rikshasa. To get the key.
This guy was so scary when he came out. I mean, he was just one shot and everybody was ridiculous. People were like standing in the doorway, which is a way you could, you know, not get hit and just fight him from there. And then you get knocked out of the room and then you'd be screwed. And what a difference between when the, now and when this first came out. Okay, our solution was down, down, up, down. Here and we get our one thingy dingy. Orb. Now we can start doing the rooms. If you're lawful, you could do that first room. I am not. But you just have to answer some questions and you have to answer them lawfully. Stick the thing in there, and then we're gonna summon our owl bear to pull the lever for us. Now I have seen people, you know, there's a way like you can pull it and still get in there. I've not tried to perfect that technique, but I've seen it done. Basically, you know, the, and it's been a while since I've seen somebody do that, but they basically stood as far away from the lever as they possibly could when they were pulling it, and then, like, as soon as, like, the instant that it was pulled, they, I don't, can't remember if they ran in or they winged in or something. So each time you kill one of the bosses in the rooms, or you finish the room, I should say, there's a there's a chance that a chest could could spawn, and in each each time you do the quest, there will be two, but it'll be random. There'll be two of those room chests, but you never know which ones you're gonna get. This room can be a little intense, you know, so here's another example where, like, you know, scroll some scrolls of fire shield. Toss them on, you know, you get bombarded by fire. I've seen people go down in here plenty of times, even still. Now, at the same time, you know, if you're doing Epic Elite and you get a whole party, I mean, you can just obliterate this in seconds. But still, there is a significant amount of fire damage that's being doled out here. Fire shield scrolls are very handy to have if you do not cast that spell natively. Or even if you do, like that's you know sometimes like if you're on a sorcerer, you know you don't have a, you have limited spell slots, right? And so sometimes you have to decide, you know, I, you know, I can't memorize that spell. I'm just gonna scroll it. Didn't get the name. So every one of these can can drop a named item. This one is Cherusha's Inferno, and that's a co bastard sword, Kopesh, I don't know, it's not a very good weapon.
Tehran. Isn't that the capital of Iran? No, that's Tehran. This is a good quest to be able to know how to solo because there are some really nice items that come out of here, like I said earlier. And some of the items can still sell pretty well on the auction house. Like your epic elite ring of shadows, like you can still get, you know, I, I haven't checked. Hey, uh, let's take a look at the shard exchange. Ring of shadows. This is the epic elite version. Let's just sort it by level 25. So somebody's trying to sell one for 460 shards. That's probably a little overpriced, but I bet you could get like two, 250 for it. Definitely a hundred though. So if you're looking to make some shards, you do so in here. me explaining that you know you could pull the lever and come in here and he thought he'd try it Hey, and here's the other chest. This is where the Ring of Shadows can drop. Should I re-roll it? Why not? Let's do it for the video. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is the best 12 shards I ever spent. You're like, damn, I never pull that. See, you just gotta farm it. You're gonna get it. Alright, how many of these thingy dingies I got? Five? I don't think it's enough. I think I need one more. So, we got both chests already. I think we need six of these orbs to finish it. Might be seven. I'm not sure. Let's count when we get down there. Let him stand there. Pull the thing. Do, you could do fire shield scrolls in here again. The red version. You can make this sucker dance. Ooh. You have spell resistance, maybe? This guy is only orange named, so he is affected by things like level draining and insta-killing and all that jazz. Well, I can't seem to land a dance on him. Earthquake him. Um, whatever. Oh, just got him with the Everett's Black Tentacles.
stealthing mob. Yeah, let's see where he was. That's why the room didn't complete. Okay, we should be good to go now. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Get rid of the owl bear. Go up top. Get the lever. Spell absorption item, like your pale lavender rhinestone, which you should work to have on every tune, is really nice to use in here. Because these guys can get you dancing and stuff. You don't actually have to worry about the warforged. All you have to do is kill Thanakan. I'm about to get my brain eaten. On the mind blast. Oops. Awesome thing about the enlightened spirit aura is that you know it's still damaging mobs even when you're stunned, and it's still keeping you healed even when you're stunned, and it's still totally freaking awesome even when you're stunned. switching back to the Empowered Dragon scale because my Iron Stone is uh, run out. I do use a blindness immunity item by endgame, but this is just one of those in-between levels where I just don't have it on the gear set. But it's a good reminder for me to look at it. Maybe I have a free slot. I can slide one in. Okay, so this is where you want to troll your guildies. And what you want to do is pick up the ancient docent immediately, and then somebody else won't realize that you picked it up. And then, of course, as you know, the second person that picks it up dies. So that's how you troll your friends and guildies. But don't troll any new. Actually, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a tradition to get the noob too. So yeah, do what you want. So that's Prison of Planes. Thanks for watching. If you have questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. If you have questions about Voodoo Warlock, you can respond in the Warlock forums. And if you're on Sarlona, you're welcome to send me a tell.